11.5 has to do with surface area of pyramids and cones. Again, it's more formulas that you'll have to learn to uh, use. Some, we want to start first with definitions. If I have a period, uh, a pyramid, like a pyramid comes to a point, okay, this is a pyramid, if you will. The very top point of the pyramid, which is directly opposite your base, um, is what we call the vertex or the apex. You can see it here. The sides that are made up of triangles are called the lateral faces. Those are the sides of the pyramid. If it is a square pyramid or a rectangle of pyramid, there are four lateral faces. The slant height is the altitude of each lateral face. So in other words, if I could draw the line straight down here on the side, that would be considered the lateral face or the slant height of this lateral face. So like on here, if I put a dotted line coming down here, you see that that dotted line lays on the lateral face and it's the height of the lateral face. So this right here is what we call the slant height. Um, the lateral area is the sum of each of those triangles. So I would find the area of one of those triangles and I would add all four of them are going to be the same here in the square pyramid. So it would be the lateral um, area of this, the lateral face here, the area here, plus the area here, plus the area here, plus the area here, would be the lateral area. If I'm talking about total surface area, it's the sum of the lateral fa the area of the lateral faces plus the area of the base. So let's do a couple examples here. Okay, and again, you can use your calculator on this. Notice how each of the sides of this pyramid is a triangle. If you remember, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So look and see what it's asking for. It's asking for total surface area. So it's the area of the lateral faces plus the area of the base. Um, so I've got one half. The base here is six. Of course, if that's six, then this is six, and that's six, and that's six. So six times 8.2. Okay, this is going to give me the area of one of those triangles. So I have 1 half or 0.5 times 6 times 8.2, which means I have an area of one triangle that's 24.6 meters squared. But I don't just have one triangle, I have four triangles, which is all the way around my pyramid. Okay, so I want to go... 4 times 24.6 meters squared plus I'd have to find the area of my base. Well, if this is 6, this is also 6. So 6 times 6 base times height or length times width here is 36 meters squared. So to find that total surface area, I go 4 times 24.6 which is a 98.4 meters squared plus the area of my base which is 36 meters squared which is going to give me a total surface area of 134.4 meters squared. So again it's the area of the four triangles which is called the lateral area plus the area of the base. All right, let's do another one. All right, so on this one you see the triangle's base is 8. The triangle's height is 8.9. So I have 1 half. This is the triangle, if you will. The base, which is 8, times the height, which is 8.9. And this is feet. So I'm going to use my calculator to do that out. 
and it's going to give me 35.6 feet squared but I have four of them so I'm going to multiply four times the 35.6 so this is going to be my total surface area plus the area of the base now if that's 8 feet this is 8 feet so 8 times 8 is 64 feet squared so this is going to give me my lateral area plus my um, area of my base okay so I have 4 times 35.6 plus 64 is going to give me a total surface area of 206.4 feet squared. And that's all the way around this pyramid plus the base. And again, that's on the surface, not inside it. All right, then the last one that we have is the surface area of a cone. And this is going to be our formula, pi times the radius times the slant height, which is your L, same thing that we were doing on the pyramid, plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared. So really it's just a matter of following that formula. So if we write the formula here, the total surface area would be pi times r times L plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared, because see it only has one base. Here's your cone, like an ice cream cone. So I have a circle, plus I have this space all the way around. This is going to be the space around it. This is going to be the area of the circle. So in this particular situation, I have pi times, my radius is 10.6, my slant height is 15 plus pi times my radius, which is 10.6 squared. Now be careful on the calculator that you, if you're going to do it all on the calculator, make sure you put parentheses around that. So I have 10.6 times pi, you have a pi button on your calculator times 15, so on the front part I've got 499 and I'm rounding 0.5 meters squared. And then on the back part or the area of the circle, I have 10 squared times pi and that's going to give me 353.0 rounded off meters squared. So I'm going to add these two things together, 499.5 plus 353, and I'm going to get a total surface area of this cone of 852.5 meters squared. Again, you're just using that formula. All right, here's another example. Notice here that my radius is equal to 3.5. My slant height, or L, is equal to 10 feet. So then I'm plugging it in. So I have S is equal to pi times R times L plus pi times R squared. So pi times R, R is 3.5 times L, which is 10 plus pi times 3.5 squared. Okay, so I have um, 3.5 times 10 times pi, which is going to give me 109. Uh, actually, it's going to round, looks like it's going to round to 110. So I have 110 feet squared. And then I have 3.5 squared times pi, which is going to give me 38.5 feet squared. So that's going to give me a 148.5 feet squared as the total surface area of that cone. All right, your homework is on page 580 through 581, 8 through 15 all.